Welcome to A-Train Bets. I'm the A-Train, and I make bets. Now, we do so much work in the positive EV, sharp sports betting. We're doing all this data work, and we're running calculations, and we're analyzing data. But do we really understand what we're going for here? Like, why are we doing certain things? And I think it really all comes back to the understanding of what the data is trying to tell us. It's really understanding the story of the data underneath, because when we look at all these numbers and you see me on the live streams and using this money machine and I'm, I'm constantly looking at numbers, but I'm not just looking at numbers to look at numbers. I'm looking at numbers to understand, to suss out for any given situation, any given possible bet that has raised to the top where we're analyzing it and we're saying, okay, is there a valuable play here to be made? Can we get a positive EV play out of this? I'm looking at different sources of information, sources Sources of truth based on sharp sports books, based on sometimes just average lines in a market and seeing, is there an outlier line here? And if there is, is it outlying enough to truly be a positive EV play? Because we need to know, okay, what is the market telling us that the uh, true market line should be? And what is the confidence of that true market line? Because if it's not confident enough, then we may not have enough EV to justify that risk. And so we're trying to understand that story of what's the data in the market telling us, what's the particulars about this bet, what are the things that um, we can quantitatively assess. And so in this video, um, you'll see from this clip from where I was analyzing a particular bet opportunity, and you kind of go through the twists and turns of, of understanding that story. So I will uh, let, why don't you take a look at this this particular um, scenario that happened and in, in during the live stream, but understand, think through it from the, con uh, the context of how do we understand what that story of data is really trying to tell us? And then we'll come back and we'll talk about it a little bit more. All right, here you go. I was going to talk about, oh, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So the, uh, the, the key to all this, because you know, I'm doing different things and it's all going very fast in these morning streams, but, or, or on any of my live streams actually, but Really, the whole goal to all of this is to assess the situation, right? So this is a situation, new situations coming up and we are going to run some numbers. So what we're doing first is we're compiling data because we want to be data driven. We want to be influenced by what the story is that the data is trying to tell us. All right. So in this case, the story that the data tells me when I look at these lines and I look at the calculations that we've done in the money machine, I can say, here's the, here's the story so far we see there's a slight EV possibility for this plus 250. We also know that plus 250 is a pretty healthy underdog. And so we know that that's a pretty risky bet just out of the gate. Secondly, the width at Pinnacle is pretty high. So that width of 44 is also a strike against it. Now we do see a bet on line line. And so we could say, okay, well, what is what are they offering here? Minus 275, compiling a little bit more data and saying, well, that's no better than Pinnacle. So that doesn't really help us. However, it now boosts by adding in the the uh, bet online line. It now boosts our EV percentage up to a playable amount. And when we get to a playable amount, then we have to really say, okay, well, can we really play this versus not playing it based on what our overall confidence are now? So our confidence in this situation is better because we have multiple sources of truth. We've used two references to understand what the actual market should be. That's our, that's the magic of what we're doing. We're trying to understand what should the market really be here? And, you know, we could even add, we could even add a 235 and minus 280 over at DraftKings and we could, you know, one weight that as well. And that kind of puts us back into the thing. So we get a little bit more confidence that we have three books that we've now used as reference lines, but we are still, none of them by themselves are very confident. So what do I do here? What I do here is I walk away because the EV just does not give me enough confidence that they are going to be a play worth making with you know a, a reasonable expectation of positive EV. Could there be positive EV? Absolutely. Is there positive EV? I'm not entirely sure. So when you get to that point, your best bet is to just hide it and walk away. So that one is one where I think if you can understand the goal here is to understand that story of data underneath the numbers that you're looking at and then piece it together and say, what is the data telling me? And then what does my knowledge and experience help do on top of that? Um, that's really, that's really the goal that we have. So,
So hopefully you found that a worthwhile exercise, right? So we're, we're looking at that data. We're adding in new sharp sports books. We're trying to understand what is the data telling us? How confident are we? And then in this case, ultimately, we walked away sometimes by adding more layers of data, more insights, more reference points, more understanding and building up a confidence of what's really going on in this market right now with this outlier line, with the market, with the, the bets that are available. Uh, you can get to a point where you, you say, ah, yes, I'm compelled. I'm, I'm drawn to making this bet even though I um, didn't want to. <laughs> like at first blush, I didn't want to, but now I'm making this. In that case, we walked away because we just never got to that point. And that as a sharp sports better, to really understand where those fine margins are, where those opportunities are on that periphery, where you know books would rather not be providing a bunch of positive EV plays, but the markets are moving quickly. Not everybody stays in sync. And we help provide market efficiency by taking action when some of these prices are saying, hey, you know, please bet me because I am uh, giving you a um, added premium over the true market odds that that should be there. So the key to all of positive EV betting is just understanding how are we assessing a market that can never be fully assessed? How can we assess and come up with a level of confidence that's acceptable and the level of risk that's acceptable to go place the positive EV trade or bet? When we know that under no circumstance do we have the crystal ball and saying, oh, well, we know exactly how this game is going to end. We, we can't even tell exactly what the market is telling us because they have different opinions. And in certain circumstances, one book that, you know, Pinnacle is normally a very sharp book and they may have, you know, a lot of times they'll have a width under 20 when they're really confident on something. But then you'll see a, a bet like the one we just looked at. They may have a, a width of, of over 40. You know, or you're using bet online or using another sharp book and you're just trying to suss out like, OK, these books are telling us they're not very confident. These books are telling us they are confident. These other books just do the same thing every time anyway. Like if we can understand what that is and understand those patterns, then we can be better and better at bringing out what is the story that the data is really trying to tell us. And that once we get to that point, then we can assess, OK, here's what the market really should be. Here's my level of confidence. Here's what that outlier line is. Now we can go make the play. So that's where I think thinking about this and understanding and not just taking, you know, odds jam is great. They make it very easy to find positive EV plays. But if you really want to be good at this, if you really want to sustain this and understand what's going on, you really got to build out these foundational understanding so that as the markets evolve, as the opportunities evolve, as positive EV plays evolve, you can be right there with it. If you just go and Say, well, I'll do whatever Odd Jam tells me. You're probably not going to be a, a, a sharp sports better forever because that market's going to change around you. And so, if you're thinking about things, you're being critical. You know, I've said in other videos, the number one thing you should do is just be critical, be thoughtful, question everything, and question this, right? Question all of it. Get to a level of understanding where you're like, oh, now I get it. Now I understand. You don't have to understand every little piece of the math underneath, but you, under you need to understand what the calculations do. You need to understand what width means. You need to understand what closing line value is. You need to understand what does it mean to assess a market? What does it mean to be more or less confident in something? What's an acceptable amount of EV to go for, given the amount of closing line value I want to have? You know, those are the things that you should be thinking about all the time. And you have to push yourself to extend beyond what Odds Jam just makes it easy to do, because if you really want to be sharp at this you really want to understand you will be able to do this kind of betting for a long period of time there's going to be opportunities we're just going to evolve with them so thank you for watching the content if you find this useful, please like and subscribe. Uh, go check out my links at atrainbets.com. There's plenty of good content to find, wonderful videos uh, throughout YouTube, as well as if you want to join Odds Jam, please use my link, atrainbetsoddsjam.com, and that will take you to the Odds Jam page and embed my code so I'll get credit for bringing them a new customer. And then if you do that, you can use atrainbets, code atrainbets, to save 20% off for life, and I will give you the money machine that you saw in this past video um, as a thank you because that, that really matters to me, helps me keep being able to do this. So with that, good luck on your bets, everybody, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you.